Welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about replacing the SATA cable in this mid-2012 MacBook Pro. So this has been having some weird glitchy issues and I think it may be due to the cable being bad. They're kind of known to go bad on those. So I'll be taking it apart and replacing the cable. If you're not comfortable going into a computer, uh, this video may not be for you. And also make sure you have a backup because things can always go wrong. So I'll flip this over. And we have Phillips screws around the perimeter. They're double odd. And I'm using this AppSong uh, toolkit. I'll put a link in the description of this. I'll also put a link in the description to the cable I'm using. And if you find this video helpful and use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So now I'll take out all these screws and I'll set the screw next to the laptop so I know which position they go in because the screws can uh, be different sizes. Now that I have all the screws out, I'll lift the back off. I'll use a spudger from my toolkit to disconnect the battery. You want to be careful here, you don't break anything. And it kind of goes without saying I've already shut down the computer. You want to make sure this doesn't reconnect with the battery, so make sure you bend it out of the way nicely. Next we're going to remove these two screws, and these are captive screws. This bracket will lift out of there. Next you want to lift the hard drive out of here, and I've replaced the hard drive. The original one had a tab on it, so what I'll do is I'll take a piece of tape and I'll bend a little tab and press that down on the hard drive so I can lift it out. Next I'll remove the old cable, and you want to do this slowly, a little bit at each time. We can also remove our little tab. Next we want to use our spudger to remove the cable from the motherboard. Like so. Now we have four screws to remove. They are here, 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 and here. These screws are very tight. So make sure you're putting downward pressure on your screwdriver while you take them out so you don't strip them. So now you can peel away this cable. It's attached to the bottom or the top depending on your orientation. And we can pull this away from the case. This has a little bit of adhesive on it. So we have the existing cable out. So I'll hold that up to the one that we got. And you see the bracket needs to be connected to this here, like so. So we'll pry this off with a spudger, and then we will connect it up. You want to stick your spudger under that little lip and pry it up. And now you can remove this cable. So I just pressed this way and then I was able to get that out. So now you can peel this whole thing off of here. It has a light adhesive on the back side. So here's the new connector. We want to pry that up in the same fashion. You want to peel the adhesive off of the back side. Now you want to make sure you tape this on the underside of the ribbon. So I'll put that back in place. I'll coerce the ribbon back where it needs to go. You can see it's back in where it goes. I'll press the little lever down. Okay, and that has been replaced. So now I'll get the cable back in place. There is adhesive on this bottom part I'll need to take off. I'll take the covering off. I'll position this in the front. Okay, I'll screw that down. Next I will line all these pieces up. The screws need to go through these screw holes, but this has to be bent for that to fit. Okay, both of these started in their respective holes. 
So now I'll press it down to crease it. And then I'll do a final tightening. I'll use my spudger to crease this down and that will adhere to the bottom. So the top cable will fold down and connect back onto the motherboard. I'll connect the hard drive up to the cable. That will hinge in the front bracket and drop in the rear bracket. We can take our upper bracket with the captive screws and set that in place. Okay, so now this is complete. I'll press the power connector back in and now we can replace the cover. So if you're careful, you can flip this over now and check to make sure it works. Once you're done with that, then replace all of the screws. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.